In this example, we are asked to graph by plotting points. Plot and label at least three points. So looking at my equation, 3x plus 6y equals 18, the first thing I want to do is put my equation into y equals mx plus b form. So I'm going to solve this equation for y. So I want to isolate the term that includes y. To get 6y by itself, I'd have to get rid of the other term, the 3x term. So I could do that by subtracting 3x from both sides. So now I'll end up with 6y equals, I could write 18 minus 3x, but since I want the y equals mx plus b form, I'm going to put the x term first. I give 3x plus 18. I still need to get uh, the y isolated. Right now it has a coefficient of 6. So to eliminate that coefficient, I will divide it by 6. And I'll have to do the same to the other side to each term on the other side of the equation. And then canceling common factors, I'll have y equals negative 1 half x plus 18 divided by 6 is 3. So now I have an equation that's in y equals mx plus b form. And I want to find three points to plot. So I'm going to go ahead and make a table to kind of organize my work. And in my table, I'm going to have values for x and values for y. And what I'm going to do is choose a value to put in for x, substitute that into my equation, and find the corresponding y. So I get to choose any values I'd like to put in for x. I'm going to choose ones that I think are going to be um, fairly easy to work with. So one I'll choose is 0. I always choose 0 as one of my values. So when x equals 0, I'll have y equal negative 1 half times 0 plus 3, which is y equals 0 plus 3, or y equals 3. So when x equals 0, y equals 3, and that gives me one point that I'll be able to graph. So now I need another point. I could put in 1 for x, but I notice that I'll be multiplying 1 half by 1, I'll get a fraction, and I'll have to add that to a whole number. And if I could eliminate the fraction, it would probably make it just a little simpler for my graphing. So since I get to choose, I'm going to have um, a value to put in for x that is going to clear that fraction when I multiply it. So it would be anything that's a multiple of 2. So I could go x equals 2, in which case I would get y equals negative 1 half times 2 plus 3. Negative 1 half times 2 is negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2. So when, y, when x equals 2, y equals 2. So I put in 2 for x and I got 2 for y. And that's two points. I'd like a third point. So for my third point, maybe I'll come over here where I have some room to work and say, what if x equaled now I could put in a bigger number for x that's a multiple of 2, like 4, 6, 8, or I could put in a negative number and um, solve for a negative value for x. And I think I'll just go ahead and do 4. So I have y equals negative 1 half times 4 plus 3. Negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So when x equals 4, I get y equals 1. I get that point, 4, 1. So now I have three points, so I'm going to go ahead and graph those. I go to my x-coordinate is 0, and the y-coordinate is 3. And I'm going to put this point down. I get the point 0, 3. So I'm going to label it because it asked me to label the points. Then I have the point 2. 2, and I have the point 4, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4 on the x, 1 on the y. So I have my three points now, and now I need to get my ruler. And I put the ruler on the three points, make sure that it looks, they look collinear, that they are in a line. And if so, 
I go ahead and connect those points. I put an arrowhead on each end to show that that line continues on. All parts of that line are made up of the points that satisfy this equation.